Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kieran Halsa, and welcome to the second of our Minecraft showcases. Today, I'm going to be showing off one of my older builds, and probably one of the ones that was the most popular on my old YouTube channel, my Warhammer 40k builds for Battlefleet Gothic. So right now, I'm going to be showing the builds for my escort ships, um, light cruisers, and other stuff for my... Um, Imperial Fleet. This is because I've got a Planet Minecraft post that happens to have these and I'm gonna try and update them a little bit. I'm gonna definitely be updating these builds in the future because they are currently out of date. I'd like to be able to update them so that they would work better for custom maps as like background stuff and such like that. And maybe even for mod stuff because currently right now I have them built as if that they could be used in a server kind of environment with actual working cannons and while that was a good idea and all it's um it's gotten a little bit old in my opinion and i'd like to be able to update some of my builds so they have some better form versus function just because it's going to be impossible to get these things to actually fly without intense mods so yeah anyway i will show you guys the insides of some of this this is a uh, orbital defense platform that i built it's just kind of, all this stuff is here for decoration. The reason why it's all wood, by the way, is because there aren't, until um, stained clay was released, there was never any hard blocks that were the kind of greenish brown. Well, I think green brown. I'm actually red green colorblind. Shh. Keep it a secret. Don't tell anyone. But there was no blocks that were greenish, the right kind of color that I wanted for the, um, for the ships that had any significant weight. Wood has some sort of weight and it feels like a better material to use for a ship than wool. Plus there's also all these extra little bits here, the slabs and such. Currently there are no other slab materials that I could use in other, um, in other correctly colored materials in Minecraft, so I'm kind of stuck with this at the moment. The idea was is that this would be used for a modded Minecraft um, challenge map or multiplayer map, kind of like the whole Hunger Games kind of thing, where you'd have three different spots. People would land, they would land on there, and they would try to enter through here or through on top, and there'd be three different spots that people could go to. There was this one, and they would. Uh, then there's these two over here, and that these would be um, spots for like turrets and stuff like that. So if you wanted to have, like, say, this on a vaults map. One of the turrets for like the guns and stuff would go right on top of here and it would be powered by a central mechanism in here and that these would be like an optional kind of thing that you can capture and they could add um, some sort of defense for ships because the idea was this would be used to it in conjunction with like Flans mod and stuff like that. It would have been a cool idea. It hasn't really gone anywhere but I'm going to be including this in with the build. That little block right there by the way is for my spawn point because I had to delete some stuff. In fact you can see a little bit of grass over there. Because I'm going to be using this world to showcase my other ships. I'm not going to showcase the ones in the very far back that you can barely see right there. Not yet anyway. Just because that's not for this video. But I will show these little ones here. So this is um, the first of the four escort ships. The Falchion or Falcon. Falchion, I'll put it right here. Cl um, class Light Escort. You come in here and the door is... I guess it's because of the new Minecraft stuff, but the um, the door is supposed to be a full door, by the way. It's not supposed to look like that. Anyway, the um, this is an escort. This is like an optional thing that some ships would use instead of a, uh, um, a sword-class frigate to escort ships. It's pretty simple, pretty standard. It's mostly for show. Like I said, the outside is form. And my mistake was, was making the internal bits functional. So, I may have to fix that. But it, it looks cool. I like it. And this is all, these, by the way, are all based on the actual models from Games Workshop. Which, unfortunately, um, I mean, for Battlefleet Gothic. And, unfortunately, Games Workshop had gotten rid of its specialist games. So, I can't actually show you those. So, I will try and send links to the actual uh, respective wiki pages below for each of these, but I do apologize for that. I really wish that they didn't take that out. This is a Cobra class destroyer. It's another lighter um, escort ship. This one's built for long range. It's supposed to have torpedo tubes at the front. And you come inside through this really ungainly looking setup with a button and the button isn't working. There we go. 
it's supposed to be working. Eh! Screw it. You come in here, there's like a little spot in the back. I base some of the internal ships based on the appearance of the, um, the, some of the internals for the strike cruiser from, uh, from the Ultramarines movie. That was the closest I ever had to an internal to any of the Warhammer 40k ships. Which is kind of unfortunate because I used that for all these Imperial builds when I could have been a little bit more creative with it. There's a bridge up here. Use the look around. And finally, there's the Sword Class Frigate, which is probably my favorite of the Escort builds. Well, second favorite. Um, just because of how realistic it is in comparison to the original model. And it, it, it's really cool. I added, um, I changed the front. The original front was using wool. I changed it now to white stained clay. I don't like the default texture, but I will eventually probably change that. Um, I'm fly. I fly up here through the bomb bay, and you come inside, and it looks really. There are zombies. I forgot to turn this back to peaceful. Armored prow in the front, the guns, and then there's the bridge up here. That's supposed to be, by the way, the core back there. I would use lava, but we all know what will happen if I put lava in a ship that's made entirely of wood. But hey, if I ever get a chance to update some of these, which I hope to do, I might even plan on making a double scale version just to make them more two scale, quote unquote inverted commas, to so that it looks some um, so, so it would would look really good in a uh, server and such. Anyway, um, or like an adventure map. So here is the uh, the Dauntless class light cruiser, and this is my favorite build. This is actually my favorite ship in all of um, Battlefleet Gothic, because just because of the build and the design, I love how this thing looks. This is supposed to be a light cruiser. Light cruisers are like the scout ships or the the ships that you use to like to um, tackle. Um, stragglers from long range away from the rest of the fleet they're basically pretty much um oh excuse me what's the term i'm looking for they're basically the most autonomous ships in the entire um arsenal of the what was i what was i gonna say of the imperial fleets so there's a bomb bay in here you climb up there's the lovely little back here, you can see those other ships in the background, which I will do a showcase video next. And then you've got the row after row of quote-unquote cannons, the armored prow in the front before I knew it was an armored prow. And then you come up over here and you've got the upper bridge here. You sit and you have like a little heightened area. The cool part about Balfour Gothic ships is that they're almost all inspired in some way by sailing ships from like the Renaissance period and stuff like that. So they all have a similar kind of feel to them. The bridge is elevated and has like a almost like a the, the like a crow's nest kind of feel. And then they've got like all these different um, cannons and stuff for broadsides. It looks it, it just feels cool. And plus, there's also the scale of each of these ships. And the reality of things, these ships would not be this big. Just one of these ships alone would be twice as much as one of those back there, which I will show you later. So anyway, this has been the showcase for the escort ships for the Imperial Fleet from ba my Battlefleet Gothic builds that I did way back in the day. I think 2008, maybe. No, not 2008. Um, it's been since I've been in college, so at least 2010? I don't know. It's been a couple years. It's been since I've been in college, and it was a while ago. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. Tune in next time for another exciting Minecraft showcase. Until then, this has been Kyrian Halcyon bidding you adieu. Me out.